guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Meryl. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I'm pretty excited about today's video. Um, I feel like I haven't been like super excited about makeup in like a little bit, maybe like, I don't know, like a couple weeks. I've been like struggling kind of with like ideas of what to film. So I ordered BoxyCharm because I was like, ooh, this is going to be like a little makeup surprise and I'm super excited. So it, I, it arrived yesterday. Today is Wednesday, May 20th and I received it yesterday, the 19th. Um, so let me show you what's in the box and then we'll get into it. It didn't come with any face products so I already have like all my base on. It has like, I'll just show you. So it comes in this like little tiny box just like this. This is what it, or this is how it arrived at my door. And then this is what is inside. So it comes with this little card with all the information on it. Is it upside down? It is. There we go. It comes with this little card and then it has all the information on the back. I do have some little notes on here because all the prices are in American. So I kind of wanted to try and convert them as best as I can to Canadian prices, uh, give or take a couple of dollars. So this is what's in the box. All this fun stuff. So let's get right on into it. We will go down the card as it is listed on the back here. So the first product on this list is Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Face Mask. So it's a creamy, nutrient-dense soothing mask with antioxidant-rich berries and probiotics that instantly boosts skin's health, <laughs> restores radiance, and balances skin's biome. Um, on this card, it says it is $49, which is US prices, and I looked on the Sephora website and it is $65 Canadian, so that's pretty pretty pricey. Um, this is what it is. So I received it like this and I opened it yesterday and it doesn't have like a security cover on it, which is kind of odd with everything going on in the world right now. I haven't touched it or anything, uh, but this brand is not cruelty free. So I will not be using it. It smells like berry yogurt. I'm not going to use this because it's not cruelty free. I know that not all of the products I use are cruelty free, but um, I'm not going to be purchasing any more cruelty free products. So I'm just going to like use up whatever I have and then like, cause it would just be so wasteful to just throw it all away. And I'm not going to do that cause I spent money on it. So, um, but like as my cruelty, as my non cruelty free products run out, like I'm not repurchasing them. I'm finding other options. Um, so I will not be using this. I will be putting it in my little giveaway to other people pile. But the fact that it didn't come with like the little peel thing to make sure that no one's like touched it kind of is like, what the fuck dude? But it smells like berry yogurt. I don't know really, I don't, I don't know about that, but so I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be giving it away. The next thing on this list is the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. The Essentials Palette is a refreshing new take on essential shades. It includes 10 full-size pans of warm and cool tones in breathtaking matte and metallic finishes. Real retails for 29 US dollars and I did like a rough calculation and it's like 37.90 ish. <laughs> that was just me entering US dollar converted to Canadian dollars. So I don't know how accurate it is. I couldn't find it on the website. Like I couldn't find it online anywhere. So approximately $40 for this palette. And so this is what the, the packaging looks like. It came with like this little dent in it here. I don't know if you can, I think you can see it. it came with that little dent here. Um, it did have like the plastic film on it and it had a cover on the mirror. This is the palette. Super, super, super pretty. I really like a lot of those colors. Like, and I believe this brand is cruelty free. Next thing on this list is the Pretty Vulgar Uncaged Eyeshadow Primer. And that is this guy right here. Super cute little packaging. This brand is cruelty free, so I'm super stoked about that. Now let's put some on the back of our hand, shall we? So just squeeze a little bit out. That's the color it gives off. And then you blend it in and it basically leaves no resemblance. Like you can't even tell it's there. 
doesn't smell good. <laughs> like, it kind of just, I don't know, it kind of smells like old sunscreen. But we will be putting that onto our eyelids in a minute. But next thing on the list is Ace Beauty. Hi, oh, I didn't read the description. Let me read that for the eyeshadow primer. Um, pretty vulgar, uncaged eyeshadow primer. Uncaged eyeshadow primer primer is a blendable lightweight skin smoothing formula that will enhance your eyeshadows by, me, by making them vibrant and long wearing infused inf infused infused with mineral rich clay to absorb excess oil it will deliver a crease proof fade proof translucent finish that is suitable for all skin tones okay cool so it retails for 22 dollars and i converted it shittily to canadian and it says approximately $31 Canadian. Ace Beauty. Highly pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture specifically designed for an ultimate color payoff. These shadows provide bold color in one weight without fallout, creasing, or fading. These retail for $25 American and I converted it to $34.75 Canadian. These are super pretty. So this is what they look like. Um, this one here is called Iced Latte, and this one here is called Cotton Candy. These are both glimmer shadows, is what they say. So let's do a little swatcheroo. Okay, these are the swatches here. So we have Cotton Candy on the top, and we've got Iced Latte on the bottom. They are super pretty. They really remind me of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. Like, I think I have a highlight. I might have gotten rid of it. Um, but they're really pretty. They're really creamy. It's like cushiony. Um, if you've ever felt the Super Shock, Colourpop Super Shock shadows, that is what they remind me of. Um, oh by the way, Ace Beauty is cruelty free as well. I don't think I said that, but they are. Okay, Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil. The lip liner of your dreams. Creamy and pigmented, yet long lasting to help complement any lip look. Retails for $16 American and I converted it to... Uh, 22 25-ish Canadian. Um, this lip liner is so pretty. It's like the perfect nude. Oh my god, I love it. Like, I feel like this is super similar to MAC Boldly Bear. Android Cosmetics it is cruelty free, so that's cool. Yeah, super similar, just a bit warmer. So, this one here is MAC Boldly Bear, and then the other one is the Gerard Cosmetics. What is this shade called? It's just nude, just called nude. Uh, they're super similar. The MAC one is a tiny bit cooler and the uh, Gerard Cosmetics one is a bit warmer. Um, super pretty. I like it. And then I just watched this one here as well. Uh, this one is uh, the Laura Mercier Naked Lip Liner. And it's kind of in the middle of them. Kind of like right in the middle. Uh, cool. And yeah, so Gerard Cosmetics is cruelty free which is cool and exciting because both of those lip liners both of the other ones are not cruelty free brands so I'm pretty excited to have a cruelty free nude lip liner that potentially could be amazing so on the website it's in American dollars obviously so it was $25 and I paid what was shipping and all that shit taxes um, I paid $43.06 so the total price for the boxes um, it's $141 US and about $193 Canadian with all those um, all added up. So, I mean, that's pretty good for thirty for $43 Canadian. Um, let's put them to the test. Let's try them out. So there's nothing on my eyelids right now. And I'm just going to put some of this eyeshadow primer on the back of my hand. And I'm going to apply it with my finger. Feels kind of sticky. Feels pretty like tacky, dude. I don't know what I want to do here, you guys. Help me out, help me. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I decided I'm gonna use the bottom row here. Probably not the black one, but I'm gonna use all these. I think, I don't know, let's just do it. <laughs> okay, so the eye primer is on, it feels tacky. 
drive down. Still feels like my, I can feel something on my eyes. Like it just feels firm. Okay, I'm gonna just dip right into Dusty Rose here. Um, I'm not gonna set the shot, the primer because I wanna see, I wanna see if she's good. So I'm gonna take Dusty Rose into the crease and then probably all over the lid. It's tacky though, like I can definitely, like my brush is like sticking to it kind of. This color is super pretty. Damn. Wow, it looks really pretty. We've got Dusty Rose all over the lid. It's a really pretty shadow. It's like the perfect Dusty Rose. I don't know how it's for a description for it too. <laughs> I'm hungry, I just got really hungry. I even ate breakfast today, what the heck? Um, anyways, this is uh, NYX number 16 brush. This is an amazing brush. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cinnamon just to deepen it up a bit. Okay, maybe I'll take it on this little MAC 221S brush. Just dipping lightly into cinnamon and we're gonna smoke out the V. I'm just gonna take my brush I was using right before and just kind of blend in a circular motion on the lid. I think I need a bit of a denser brush for right on the lash line there. Let's try this. This is a Japanese brush. It's like a, it's like an angled, dense brush. I don't really know. It doesn't it doesn't say what it is on it, but. I'm gonna use this to kind of pack it into the lower lash or the lash line here. This is pretty so far. I'm just going to, I think I'm gonna use this brush again and just dip back into Dusty Rose and start working on the bottom lash line. Okay, now I'm just kind of swiping off whatever's on the brush, although it doesn't matter because I'm going in with a deeper shade. Now I'm taking cinnamon again and just going to focus that on the outer area. That looks so pretty, I really like this. For the eyeshadow primer not being set, like it's working really well. Like I never really don't set my eyeshadow primer, but it's looking good. Ooh, should we use? A topper? Should we use one of the Ace Beauty toppers for a shimmer? I think that I would like to use this one. Or should I use gold? Oh! Please excuse this bandage, by the way. I've ordered like five Juvia's Place palettes. Um, and I can't wait to freaking put them on my face. They are literally the most beautiful palette I've ever seen in my whole life. Anyways, I was, I'm, I was opening the box and I fucking sliced my finger like right on the tip of it too I was like oh my god that hurts so bad so I bandaged it up so it uh that's what that is <laughs> anyways okay I'm taking some of this on my finger here oh my god that is really pretty Wow, that is so beautiful. Damn, that is shimmery. I love it. And yeah, literally no follow. There's like a couple little specks, but wow, I just like don't want to stop putting it on my face. I love that. So that was Con Candy by Ace Beauté. Okay. That is the eyes so far. Um, I think it looks super pretty. I'm gonna pop on my eyelashes. I will be right back. My lashes are on. 
these colors look really pretty and they they worked really well together so I'll uh, do a little swatch test and insert that here for the rest of the shadows so these are the swatches of the eyeshadows they're I mean they're pretty but like they're pretty they're not super pigmented um, and there's quite a bit of like fallout kickback on the pans here um, yeah I don't know they're pretty but it's just not a necessary palette for me to kind of have when I've got all these beauties to try out. I am so excited to play with these palettes. You have no idea. Anyways, um, but yeah, these are the swatches. I use my finger to swatch them and they're just nothing special. They're not super exciting. I just, you know, I could do without. So yeah, that's that on that. I like this eyeshadow primer, I think. Um, it worked well, the shadows look nice. So I'm happy with this. Now it's time to move on to the lips, the final, final step. Let's take this Gerard Cosmetics. Right now I just have some chapstick on, my Bite Beauty Nighttime Lip Sleeping Mask. Let's apply some lip liner. So this is Gerard Cosmetics Nude. is the lip liner on it's a really really pretty color feels really nice like it feels like it it's not I don't know it doesn't feel cheap you know like it's not overly expensive it's pretty affordable but like it doesn't feel like it's gonna just like come off in like 10 minutes you know like some lip liners do um let's throw a gloss on let's put on some clear gloss and see how that looks Alright you guys, this is the final look. I think that it turned out really nice. Um, I liked the products that I used today. To be honest, I don't really think, like I, I don't need this palette. Like, it's nice, the colors that I put on are nice, but I just don't really think I need it, you know. Maybe I'll give it a spray and hand this off to somebody else who may like it more. Because I just, I don't know, it's nice, but I feel like I have shadows that are nicer than this. Um, they blended really pretty, but I just don't think that like all this top row, they are just like not very pigmented. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it another shot, but I'll keep you updated. Let's say that. I'll keep you updated. Um, these on the other hand are fucking beautiful. I will definitely be keeping these. Like, I just think that like, it's just so pretty. It just gives such a nice shimmery, uh, duochrome kind of look like pink and gold like yes and I, I really really like these these are super pretty um i like this eyeshadow primer i think that it did a good job like it blended out the eyeshadow as well doesn't really look patchy or anything i think that it worked well did its job i really like the shade of this lip liner um it's really pigmented it's really comfortable doesn't feel like it's gonna come off super easily like i like it i think that it looks super pretty lastly this glam glow thing so i obviously didn't use it um they don't have a cruelty free option on their website um i don't really think it would be that hard to give a cruelty free option i understand that there's probably like millions of people buying this box but like how hard is it to really have a cruelty free option um i don't know i'm not a product manufacturer company subscription box company owner or you know whatever but I just don't really think it would be that hard to say cruelty free not cruelty free like or like cruelty free or no preference you know like i don't really think it would be that hard to do that um with that being said these three products are super fantastic and i really enjoy these products so far with my first use this i'm not going to use i'm giving this away and this palette here it's like it's fine, but I just have other palettes that I use more and like I just feel like this would be like I just feel like this will end up at like the back of my collection my collection bitch you don't have a collection like I just feel like this will end up at the back of the pile of my eyeshadow palettes Especially since I just bought five Juvia's Place 
eyeshadow palettes like those are so beautiful I cannot wait to put those on my eyes so yeah I just don't really think that I don't know this just kind of feels cheap this is the first subscription box I've ever ordered and received so like I can't really speak on other boxes I think it's a great way to try out new products and new brands that you normally wouldn't order from like I've never I've heard of some of these brands um but I've never had any I've never owned any products from any of these brands I'm pretty happy with this box I will use three out of the five products technically there's six products in this box but I think that these two little eyeshadows are like supposed to be one so I got six products six things in the box let me know if you ordered a boxycharm box and what you got in there because I saw a lot of other people's boxes and um, they got like hourglass like a bunch of fucking bomb brands I've noticed that most of them have gotten this so that's kind of cool but yeah if you have ordered boxycharm before or if you know of any other subscription boxes that are you know you enjoy it let me know let a girl know in the comments down below oh I have a little bit more information for you okay so it's $25 for one month or you can do three months for $70 and that comes to $23.33 per box and you save $5 or you can prepay $138 for six months comes to $23 box and you save $12 or you can prepay $275 for a full year which comes to $22.92 a month per box um, and for that one, for the full, for the year subscription, you get 12 boxes for the price of 11 boxes and you get five full size products in the box. I think I'll continue ordering it for a little while at least and see, you know, what kind of products I get. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've ever ordered any subscription box, so I can't really compare it to any other ones. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today i will have the products i used along with all the base products that i used today um listed in the description box down below along with my instagram handle um i hope you guys have a great rest of your day evening and week and enjoy your weekend um i will see you next time bye